folks prospector trip yeah i'm getting down and i'm starting to get funky just a smidge on this table yeah the um the shaker table is is going to come to fruition here eventually here uh <clears throat> what i got here is i just got things laid out here a little bit on this hunk of stainless uh i'm gonna cut this off here so that'll be gone and uh you know i've searched a bunch of different sites for uh you know shaker tables and a bunch of different videos and designs and this and that and for a kind of a small table that i'm making there's a variety of them that i'm gonna rip off a little bit of ideas from but uh anyway uh the guys over there at uh, mount uh baker mining and metals uh, lcc they're on youtube check them out mount baker uh they got all kinds of cool mining equipment and they got good shaker tables and i like their design and so i'm gonna scab a few of their ideas and uh and build this thing and hopefully it'll work good you know and we can get more gold anyway <laughs> what i got going of course uh is this will be cut off here there will be a spray bar here to do the final cleaning uh and then the other bar along here will be the water uh supply with the uh ore in here and of course primarily uh you know this will all be flat here very flat surface and of course it'll have all it'll have rubber over this you know i'm going to put some rubber over it and of course all of the uh lateral lines will be running along here of course with a couple right at the very edge you know those are like your safety grooves and then of course this is all flat though this will be pure flat so as it shakes the material is going to come along here and it's flat but this is going to have a little tiny bit of a bend in it here just a squishy squishy just a little bit <laughs> and so what's going to happen is of course the material will be coming along here and then it'll have this little bit of an incline here not much just a degree or so just enough to the heavy stuff that's biting is going to continue to move along the rubber but the light stuff is going to lose traction and right in here all of the number threes are going to fall off here which is going to be possibly something good because the grooves will run out to about here somewhere you know actually i'll run the grooves right to about here uh, at the very bottom but you know uh this last little bit of course will be at a little bit of an angle so the material is not going to want to go up there very easy especially if it's light and then it'll flow down here now all the gang just the garbage is going to all flow right here and then of course possibly there'll be some value in the number threes here for sure you know some of the sulfides and whatnot a little bit heavier stuff's going to come down here definitely going to go in there and of course the gold is going to climb this last little bit here because i'll have the rubber down here and it'll be a, a, a severe angle here with the spray bar spraying and so when the gold gets there it's not going to climb that hill and the spray bar is going to wash off the junk uh into the two and then anyway of course the gold's going to travel and hopefully it'll make a nice little line and right into the number ones and so that's my plan uh <laughs> i'll uh, i'll post probably about 19 videos on this thing because i'm going to build this thing over winter because right now it's uh colder than heck you know uh, it's not cold today it's been a beautiful day today uh about 50 ish or something and i got off work a little while ago so i could actually wail on this thing for a few minutes but um anyway yeah it's going to be good uh the surface area you know it's not as big as the one i was planning on making one bigger than this but uh the truth is is this is uh it's got to go on the, it's got to go on the prospecting uh, gold rig trailer here and so you know this is where my crusher's at i got basically only about you know two and a half feet maybe three feet here and so that thing's got to sit right in here uh you know it's got to sit <laughs> it's got to make it so i don't want to make it too unwieldy and of course it's not going to be high production it's going to be just enough where it can after i got my cons coming out of my uh you know my uh you know shaking concentrator that i built uh i'll have a you know a bucket a half a half a five gallon bucket or a quarter or whatever of cons and of course uh we'll run them through here to clean them up and uh scab out the gold yep so that's what we're gonna do i've been saving a few little gizmos for uh because i'm gonna need them i'm gonna need those babies for this table anyway we're getting on it baby and it's cold <laughs> it's starting to drop down it's probably like 40 now and it's getting cold it's clear i can tell it's gonna get for a reason freezing baby
anyway i love you guys peace baby we'll just 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 keep track of this you're gonna like this one bye bye Mount Baker mining and metals table looks really good. So, I like your table, Jason. I do. Table's got to go on here. So this is the deal. You know, we need a tiny bit of room between here, something like that. You know, that's about the minimal. Right there. So yeah, we got 32 inches. We can get. I don't really want to get too close. So dang, I'm gonna build a function here too. Now, if that dog is right up there, depending on how high he ends up being off the deck here, got really not all that much. Got a 13 to here, so we got about 14 inches to this pulley. Yeah, about 14 is about as high as I can go if I had to go underneath here somehow, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go right to there so it doesn't hit anything. So, yeah, I got 32 inches by basically four feet. Let me grab my plate and throw it under one time. The prospector way. How do you do that, Trip? Well, <laughs> one by one, baby. One by one. You see, it's a tiny bit wider you know tiny bit wider but we got a lot of room for some framing and whatnot there solid uh three inches on either side so yeah that makes that's about right yeah that's 25 inches roughly so yeah we got quite a bit of room there we got a lot of room to shake it's working oh not yet Okay. Anyway, thinking about it, thinking, thinking. All right. Anyway, I think I'm going to whack off this thing here first because I know I want to build it around this design. I want that wash bar here where the gold's piling up here. I want that spray bar to clean it off before it dumps into the number ones. Got to have a tiny ramp here, so I got to put the bend in it. Uh, huh. Yeah, I think I'll cut it off. Maybe put the tiny bend in it uh, anyway thinking thinking anyway yeah well let me bring you back here in a minute once i once i think a little bit <laughs> once i think it over a little bit all right we love you man peace baby hmm. well guys we'll still stay on the tabletop of the shaker table because i need to design that how I want it to be designed and then I'll design the frame around it so let me stay on my plan here and we'll start cutting off the pieces what I'm doing is I'm going to cut off a three inch piece on here and I need a few of them maybe three of them so it's a little bit of a process but uh, what I want those for is um, you know you can imagine that this uh, 
I keep pulling you off because dang, you know, this thing is quite flexible, right? So I'm gonna put a three inch piece right here. You know, so this will be kind of like a piece of angle iron here and here. I'm gonna weld that right on there. And then also a three inch piece here, weld it on there all the way down. This of course will be cut off. I'm gonna have a three inch piece right here. So this side, the back side and the far side over there will all have that three inch uh, basically sealed off, you know. And then over here, I'll start, you know, where the three inch piece ends. This is where I'm, that's welded on at roughly a 45 degree angle. Uh, I probably use two inch here. Maybe, maybe I'll use three inch still. I think I'll use three inch, I guess. Because uh, what that'll do is when the material and water's coming down here, instead of having this abrupt edge where things will try to go underneath it, uh, you know, because of the surface tension of water, with that on there, it'll hang down much further and then it should go right in. And of course, that's how I see another one. So I'll have this piece, it'll be a, a nice miter 45 cut here. So this will be a nice angle. And also this will be a 45 degree angle all the way down to here. And then when I put my uh, uh, EPDM mat over here, which is that really, it's like heavy roofing mat. Uh, this will have that three inch piece here, right? So the matting will come here and it'll kind of go up like this and then it'll be bolted to it. So it'll create that big uh, incline there that the gold or nothing can climb basically. This will have that slight ramp, like I said, to you know to help meter off the, the junk. And then of course along the back, that rubber matting will also be up there and you'll have that nice curve here. You know, if you can imagine all the way along there like this, a curve. And then same with here. And so, that way all the water has to run off this side and of course over here i'll have like i said the uh kind of the drip edge all along here and then of course uh the different ports you know four three two and one so that's what i'm thinking baby <laughs> on those three inch pieces that sun is bright here in idaho it's always getting me it's a beautiful day though it's about 45 50 degrees lovely uh after work is still good for about another hour <laughs> and then it'll start getting freezing so again back to this i'm gonna cut off some three inch pieces with my grinder it's a pain in the butt but uh that's all i got so that's what i'm gonna do there we have it sir one okay. yeah that's a pretty good mark that might work It just occurred to me that some of you may not know uh, how to cut things like this. And uh, I'm just using a grinder with a real thin kerf here, you know, uh, it's a metal cutting disc. And uh, I marked it, of course, and I just scored it real lightly, with, you know, going real carefully. And then uh, you just keep taking out pieces. And I, I'll show you here. You can make a pretty straight line, you know, it ain't perfect, but it's dang, it's dang good. You can't force it, nice and gentle. By doing that sawing action where I go up a little bit and come back, and the blade falls back into the crack, right? That keeps everything straight because the blade is kind of in a, it's, it's in the notch now, right? So I, I keep doing that to keep everything straight. Up and back. Up and then back. Okay, to further uh, clarify, <coughs> every time I get on camera, I go, what the heck? Anyway, yeah, on the outs, on the output side here where the material's coming off, you know, we'll have that welded on there, such as that, right? So, and of course this will be ground real nice, but as the material comes off, it'll come down here nice and smooth, and then go into the, the catch port. Um, 
because if you leave it like that the water will go right underneath there like I said from surface tension and it'll be dripping off in here somewhere gold will be everywhere yeah we ain't doing that so we're gonna stay on the design parameters of other people that uh, how they did it not only will this of course uh, be a good drip edge but it'll give this plate a lot less flex right just like this edge here that I'm gonna do of course I'll have an edge here that's beveled the same exact deal and of course I'll cut these at a 45 and weld them and everything but uh, we'll have this one over here too that will run not all the way out here because this is the end of this right here right it's gonna be cut right off here but uh, I'm gonna run it a little bit long and of course I'll curl up this piece just a tiny bit to keep the material going in the number one port so somehow it doesn't wrap around somehow I don't want to stop it right where this one starts a little bit past so that'll be these sides the back side I got this thing up on some bull blocks as you can see it the back side of course you know in this side I'll have of course a three inch piece welded all along here which of course will give it again a lot more rigidity because it'll be like a piece of angle iron and that one will end right there and then the next one will start right here and this of course will be cut off and then of course I'll wrap it all the way around. So it'll have the beveled edge on this side, it'll have the, uh, the angle, uh, the straight 90 degree angle everywhere else. And then of course the rubber will be over that. So I gotta cut at least one more. So I got this one, I got enough of that. And yeah, I gotta cut at least one more. So let's cut one more. Yeah, they're not perfectly straight, right? But for a hand grind, not too bad, right? There we go. Good enough. Good enough for our shaker table, baby. <laughs> okay, folks. I uh, just have this thing taped into place and kind of just barely sitting there. But that's what we're going to have. So this will have the cleaning bar along here. The rubber, of course, will come up here and it'll be attached to here so I'll have this nice big uh, hill here to climb so as the gold gets shook down it's gonna hit the ramp gonna clean all the stuff like I said before it's gonna hit that ramp and come straight down here into the number one port of course I'll have uh, the same beveled edge like I have here this is just a scrap piece I got here but it'll be here also you know so you can imagine that right so underneath here I'll have a a nice one number one you know a uh, basically a square port you know uh, kind of an angle <laughs> this one will be a nice straight one here you know just a box with the funnel going to a hose same with this one and same with that one so that's where we're starting at baby so yeah I got the piece cut off on the end of course like I said I'm gonna bend that ramp just a scoshy just a little bit um, you know so it has a little bump there uh, I was thinking about it a couple different ways that uh, I could just set something in here, you know, to build it up. Like, uh, anyway, some little wedge-shaped piece, you know, instead of having to actually bend it. But, because uh, if the bend's wrong, you know, then I got to go back. So, uh, hmm. Anyway, I'll think about it here. I'll be thinking about it first. We can decide here. I can bend it, of course, and then cut the pieces or grind the pieces to shape. And uh, anyway, that's where we're going with this thing. Looks pretty good sitting there now, don't it? Woohoo! Yes, sir. All right, that's what we're doing. Watch this. Oh, it stayed good. Sweet. Well, this piece fell down. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> all right, that's about all I can do for right now. <laughs> it's getting late, and I'm tired, and I gotta quit for tonight. But I love you, man. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye now.